What is up everybody? It's Pino E here with a new video for today. We've got a little bit of sneaker news to cover, so let's not waste any time. Here's our sneaker news for October 13th. Lego! So these Camel Reflective Air Force Ones dropped this morning and it took them a total of two minutes to sell out on sneakers. I don't know when the last time an Air Force One sold out, but if you're still looking for them, sizes are available on footlocker.com and I'll leave the link in the description below. Let's move over to ASICs. These next two pairs up on the screen are the Colette ASICs Gel Light 5 Yukata Pack. The pack consists of two Gel Light 5s. The first is primarily a blue leather upper with two-tone mesh, and the other pair is primarily white with a blue ASICs logo and embroidered leather. If you're curious what a Yukata is, like I was when I heard about it, a Yukata is a casual summer light cotton kimono. Now you know. Sticking with ASICs, we have another dope collaboration from the folks over at Atmos. The Atmos ASICs Gel Light 3 Midnight Tokyo. The shoe features a black leather upper with graphics on the leather that represent rain and panels of an iridescent 3M material sit around the shoe. The pair is dope and they drop on October 29th on Atmos website. I know I've showed these the last couple days and I'm sorry about that, but here's some better looks at the Air Jordan 6 hair which is dropping March 2017. A closer look at these shows that the upper consists of a perforated leather. We have 1991 stitched on the inside of the tongue which represents the year the Air Jordan 6 released and it's got a Jumpman on the heel. Now these are a pass for me, I, I don't feel that Nike hit the mark and they feel more like an alternate maroon colorway than a hair model. But that's just my opinion, let me know what you guys think down below. Here's a new look at the Air Jordan Retro 9 Kobe PE. Dope shoe. It's too bad Nike put a 23 on the heel, but that's not a big deal to me. Look for these to release on November 19th for $190. Next up, here's a couple new looks at the Nike Air Foam Posit 1 Maroon. You all know I'm not a big foam guy, but I am a fan of the maroon colorway. In fact, we need more maroon shoes. But anyway, these drop October 20th and the retail price is $230. I'm unsure if I want these or not. If I buy these, they're a collection shoe because one, I can't rock all gold kicks and two, I really hate to see what these look like when they're creased. This Air Jordan 6 Pinnacle Metallic Gold features a metallic gold upper, white midsole, white heel tab and sock liner and white tongue. The sample pairs were very close to the retail version except instead of white, they featured a bluish translucent color. The only thing making me consider buying these at this point is the cool 3D Jumpman hang tag that comes with each pair. Next up, the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Top 3. By now you should all know the inspiration behind this colorway is the Top 3 Air Jordan 1 colorways, the Bread, Royal and Chicago. The other significance behind the three relates to MJ being drafted 3rd overall in the 84 NBA Draft. Can you believe that two teams passed up on him? But anyway, the shoes dope, these will be a problem to get. I'm hearing the quantity is limited, but they drop on Cyber Monday, November 28th, and retail is $160. And last up for today, here's some new looks at the Air Jordan Retro 11 Space Jam. You already know about the higher cut patent leather and the peaks on the patent, along with the 45 on the heel, similar to MJ's PE. And this shoe to me is a perfect example of why Nike really can't win. One of the biggest complaints I hear all the time is Nike should drop OG this or that, OG colorways, OG cuts, OG everything, OG laces, and when they drop a shoe that's probably the closest we could get to an OG model, there are complaints. But that's just my observation and it really doesn't matter. Anyway, these release on December 10th and the retail price is $220 and I'm definitely copping. Well that's it for today's video, if you enjoyed it and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out.